Good evening. My name is Tatiana Ibrahim, and I'm here for the first time. I'm here tonight not only as a community member, but as a parent in this district. Recently, you sent out a survey wanting to know why parents were not voting yes for this budget. So my, my situation, my vote for no is a little different. I think the Board of Education and those sitting on the panels are thieves. I think they're liars and have committed treason against our children. My message to this district and the members of the Board of Ed, stop indoctrinating our children. Stop teaching our children to hate the police. Stop teaching our children that if they don't agree with the LGBT community, that they're homophobic. You have no idea each child's life. You don't know what their family lifestyle consists of. You don't know the makeup of their, of, of their life. You have children like mine who is Muslim and I'm Christian and everyone would think they would never believe that of her, right? Because the way she looks, or according to Miss Cyrus, she's too pasty white. Ma'am, ma'am, excuse me, I'm up, up here. We're, we're not allowed to use names. If you have something you'd like to discuss about a specific person, you can call the superintendent or leave your info for her to call you tomorrow. Why are we not allowed to discuss names? Why am I not allowed when they purposely themselves expose themselves on social media, talking about calling for the death of a former president, or saying that any child that doesn't believe in Black Lives Matter should be canceled out? Is this what my tax dollars is paying for? You're teaching my children and other children that if they believe in God Almighty, they're part of a cult. These educators put their own names out there. We have Mr. Barry, who took it upon himself with Miss Cyrus to create a curriculum. That should be it. Do you want the proof? I have the proof. You created a curriculum of Black Panther indoctrination. Ma'am. You use taxpayers' dollars. Can I ask you one more time? I, I, I have no issue hearing what you have to say, but. Why, are, why can we not let the public speak? Why can't we s let the public know that you're teaching our children to go out and murder our police officers? That Do you not. want the proof? I have the proof. Is that what scares you, the proof? That a parent actually standing up against all of you? Is that what scares you, to call out the names of these people? You work for me. I don't work for you. You have a duty. We are entrusting our children to you. We teach our children morals, values, when they grow up to commit crimes and end up in prison and kill a police officer. It's our fault? No, it's your fault. You're emotionally abusing our children and mentally abusing them. You're demoralizing them by teaching them communist values. This is still America, ma'am. And as long as I'm standing here on this good ground earth of God, I will fight. And I'm not, this is not the last of me you will see. I'm retired. I have nothing else better to do. We can do it peacefully or we can take it to the highest courts because you know and I know I'm not the only parent fighting is all across America right now. Schools are trying to poison our children's minds, teaching them about things that they have no right to be taught in school. So, norm so normally, oh, I'm just gonna, if you don't mind, I'm gonna just give you uh, just a feedback for a moment. I have no problem having a peaceful discussion. This is not a peaceful discussion. No, that's your opinion. See, here we go again. This no. is peaceful. To me, this is peaceful. Well, I'm not okay. burning, looting, and murdering. This is peaceful. No, I did not accuse you of that, but I would, don't have a problem having a conversation with you, a peaceful conversation, which is this is not. Six ninety-five per child in the middle school to buy a curriculum from readtome.org that wasn't even approved by the, by the Board of Ed. The administrators took it upon themselves to buy these books with taxpayer dollars while COVID is going on. How many families are struggling to pay their mortgages? 
Listen, by all means, you want to teach kids these things, fine. Don't do it on my dollar. Don't infringe on my religious beliefs. Don't infringe. Do you know who makes up the majority of this district? Children from police officers' families. Blues. Back the blue children. Do you know what these children feel like when they come home? Have you spoken to them? No. You're silencing them. This whole cancel culture. You're silencing the children. Where are their rights? They have no rights. Because if they don't believe in the indoctrination, the demonic, twisted, sneaky, vile acts and, 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 and education, if you call it that, that you're teaching our children, they don't agree with that. They're either homophobic, they're part of a cult, they, 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 they're racist. What, what's, what's racist? Who defines racist? Why? Because I'm, do you know what race I am? Do you? You don't. You don't even have a, a, an idea. I could be black. I could be white. I could be Asian. You don't know. Who are you to determine that? Who is anyone to determine that? You know what? Children in the school system, children like other children, they don't look at color. Black and, black and white children, Hispanic children, you know why they get along? Because they don't look at each other's color. So you're the racist. Not them. Not us. You're judging and dividing. You're causing segregation. Everything that we fought for, everything that I fought for for years. So you have the right to stand here and tell me I'm not allowed to mention a name when the person, the Mr. Barry and Miss Cyrus themselves, you have ELA teachers giving out uh, assignments on police murder. To police are bad. You want the proof? Okay. Because we have it. So what policy do you have that teachers are not allowed to go on social media and indoctrinate? They took an, an oath, a responsibility, and they're, they're, they're going against everything that they stand for. End. Well, end. I understand. End it? it I end it? I have to end it? So Why? I, I, again, Why? You're on my dollar. Why? Well, actually, Why? I, I, I work for nothing doing this. Oh, you work for nothing. Oh, I do. This is a volunteer position, number okay. one. It's number still two. my taxes paying for everything. I, I, I this podium saying. is every taxpayer's dollar here. Uh, we have rights. We have rights. And, and you're making general assumptions? No, I'm not making assumptions. I'm not. Just, I know what I'm speaking about. See, you know I don't I'm agree not, with you, engage. so it's an assumption. Well, I'm not going to engage in a back and forth with you about this. So if you would like to make an appointment, I would be happy to sit with the superintendent. I don't, I don't want to. The superintendent, uh, the assistant superintendent already sent an email and stated that they had no idea that these books were being put on, in, in the students' hands. The superintendent already stated that they had no idea that the funds of taxpayers were supporting this. Black Panthers, do you know Black Panthers is a domestic terrorist group? Do you know that it was, it was, it was condemned as a, as a terrorist group? Do you know they kill cops? I have a problem when you're trying to kill a police officer. I have a big problem with that. I have a problem when teachers are passing out flyers, recruiting children to go to, to the courthouse, to protest Black Lives Matters, when you have people sitting with, with, with signs that says all cops are bastards. Really? All cops are bastards? No, I think you people are because the way you're acting yeah. and the way you're treating our children and our police officers yeah. and making them believe that it's okay to abuse them, I'll be damned if I'm going to sit here and yeah. let you do that. You, you, no, you I'm, I will become your worst nightmare because I'm going to stand here and keep fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting. Thank and you. if not, um, we, I can per actually go out, get signatures. What happens if we stop paying school taxes? You're going to arrest all the community? The majority of the community? No, I don't think so. This won't be the last of me. I want everyone to know what's going on because you're hiding it. You're hiding it. You know who does that? Communists do that. That's what you're doing. Recruiting children. Children. You're recruiting children to hate our police officers. How dare you? You have a librarian in the high school passing out Black Lives Matter pins. When a student asks for a blue live, why would I have that? Why would she have that? What did you do for police, police week? Why don't you tell me, sir? What is it you want to tell me? You've had your two minutes. I don't need two minutes. I can, I can go as long as I like. No, that's not the board. No? Oh. Who, where does it say that I can't? Is there a law against that? We do have policy. a policy. A board policy. Who, who makes these board policies? The board. The, the board. board. And who pays the board? 
No one. Nobody. Nobody. The chair you're sitting on, we pay for it. The lights that are on, we pay for it. We pay for everything. You want to silence me because I spoke the truth. I spoke the truth. Everyone out there heard me. Whether they agree or they don't, they're going to start looking into it. And now you're, go now you're exposed. That's all. It's going to end. This indoctrination and hatred towards our police officers, this systematic racism and cancel culture, it's going to end. You came to the wrong school district to do this, okay? You need to respect every child. So therefore, no politics should be discussed in school. Rather, whether it be conservatism, democratic, liberalism. You gave a, 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 a survey after the elections. Why? Why did you ask students who they voted for? What did it matter? No answer, huh? You have no answers for me. I, I didn't expect an answer. That's okay, though. We'll get them some way or another. Same way you can't show us where all our money goes, right? God. Yeah, that's what I thought. Thank you.